Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. So New Year's is coming upon us, and in this video I'm going to code a fireworks animation using your Sna engine, and I hope you like it. So first let's import the modules and create a window uh, with a black background. So for our modules, we're going to import your Sina. So from your Sina, import star. We're also going to import the random modules. So from random, import rand int, uniform, and choice. And to set up our uh, Yersina app, we can set app to Yersina, set the window color equal to a black, so color.black. And lastly, we can set app.run. And now if I save and run this, we have a window with a black background. So now we can create uh, a fireworks class that will be used later to create our fireworks animation. So at the very top, let's create a class fireworks. We'll pass in entity and we'll define init of self x, y, and color. And so the init method will take in three parameters, um, which are the position, so the x, y coordinates, as well as the color of the firework. So we'll call super init, oops, and then self.parent, we will set it equal to camera.ui. So camera.ui, and we'll set self.model equal to a circle so that the fireworks is going to be in a circular uh, kind of look. So we'll set the color equal to the color parameter. So self.color equal color. We'll set the scale equal to 0 0.02. And so that's going to be the initial scale of the circle model. We'll set the x and y uh, positions, coordinates, self. Dx equal to rand int negative two two over one thousand self dot dy equal to rand int negative two two over one thousand and so dx and dy are the moving speeds in the x and y directions and we'll set them as random values and self dot ds will be equal to rand int from one to three over 7,000, and this is the speed that the model scale uh, changes, which is also going to be a random number. So now let's develop an update method in the class that will animate the fireworks, including moving and descaling the circles. The update method in Yersina will run automatically for each frame, so what we could do is define an update method, pass in ourself, and we'll set self.x. Every single time this update method runs, I'll increase the x coordinate by the x, so the change in x. So if that y will increase it by so if that dy, the change in y. We'll set self that scale, and we'll subtract it by self that ds, and we'll check if self that scale is less than or equal to point zero zero five. Uh, we will basically destroy uh, itself, so destroy an object of the class. So when the circle becomes small enough, we'll just remove it from our scene. So we have finished making the fireworks class, and let's make an entity out of it. So after we set our window color, let's make an entity, so fireworks 0, 0. We'll set white. Remember, the first two parameters are the x and y coordinates. So zero zero, and the last one is the color of the firework. So if I save and run this, we see a white circle uh, basically come out of the center of the window, and it went to a random direction and got smaller and smaller until it disappeared. So let me run that again, and there you go. But this is nothing like a firework. So what we need to do is instead of a singular firework that we created right there, uh, let's, we should probably make a function. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a 
colors list. This is just going to be a bunch of colors. So white, uh, green, uh, yellow, let's have yellow, color.pink, color.cyan, color.red, let's have color.gold, and color.violet. So this should be eight different colors. And once I define these eight colors, we can create our function. So I'll create my function below the um, class fireworks. We'll call this function create create fireworks. And so I'll have a num variable equal to 12. And so each firework is going to contain 12 circles. We'll have a uh, empty list of none size num so an empty list of 12 what this would do is that it will contain our circles we'll have an x variable uniform we'll pass in negative 0 0.45 0 0.45 and this is the x position of the firework which is a random number we'll have y equal to uniform 0 0.4 and this is going to be the y position of the firework. C is equal to choice colors. And we'll loop through it. So for i in range num. So for we'll loop through 12 times. We'll set every value in the e list to equal to a new firework. So fireworks x, y, c. So now let's call the function to create our fireworks. So underneath our colors list, we'll call this function to create fireworks. And if I save and run this, we'll see uh, one firework basically explode and disappear. That's it. So let's run this again. And you saw there was one firework there. Actually, the one firework in the middle was still there. Uh, the white dot was still there because we didn't remove this line. So let me go ahead and remove it. Now if I save this, we should only have that one uh, basic splatter right there. So how do we see more continuous uh, fireworks instead of, that just, instead of just one firework? Well, we need to, uh, what we could do is invoke the function itself. So we can let the function call itself. So inside of this function, at the very end, I'll call invoke create fireworks, which is this uh, function with a delay of uniform, and we'll pass in 0.1 to 0.8. So now, if we save and run this, now we just have a non stop and infinite fireworks. Nice. So, if we like, we can also add sound effects every single time a firework explodes. So basically right before we invoke, let's call audio. And I have an audio file in my assets folder called explosion sound.wav. So if I rerun this, now we have a sound every single time a firework goes off. And we can also add the text, happy new year if you'd like. So let's go out of here. And above our colors list, and beneath our window.color, we're going to set our text to Happy New Year. We'll set the origin of this text equal to 0, 1.5. And we'll set the scale equal to 5, and the color to color.yellow. So now if I save and run this, now with the text Happy New Year uh, appear on the window. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to your channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Happy New Year to everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.